What's up? I'm Liz and this is Upside Down. Okay, that's better. So, I'm a big fan of Stranger Things, and the second season is going to be coming out uh, this coming Friday, and I'm really pumped on it, so I had to do a project about it. Um, but So first off, behind me is a, kind of a take on the famous alphabet wall that uh, Joyce puts up in her home uh, to try to communicate with Will. Uh, so I did this project last year, um, but I used example code because uh, a lot of people were doing these projects. Um, I thought they were really cool. I used a fast LED library and an Arduino, um, and it came out cool. It had a nice effect, but this year I kind of wanted to step it up a notch. And I actually coded this with CircuitPython uh, using a Trinket M0 board from Adafruit. They have full NeoPixel support libraries and everything like that, so it was really easy to do. Uh, and I'll of course have the code up on GitHub and OP LinkedIn, the Hackster.io, right up for this project. Um, and the alphabet wall in particular is using a, a string of 50 NeoPixel-esque uh, LEDs. They aren't from Adafruit, so I don't think you can call them like official NeoPixels, but um, they are the WS2811 lights. Uh, I think they're made from Alitov, and I'll link them down below because the form factor is pretty fun. And so for the alphabet wall, I have it doing a couple routines. As you can see, um, I've got the rainbow cycle um, lights, which is example code from Adafruit. I also have like a quick ramp up of red uh, just by kind of rewriting. Um, the strip uh, amount of red, and then I've also got uh, it spelling out a couple different phrases. I've got run, I'm here, help, and I thought just for fun, um, ego, since waffles are very important in Stranger Things. Now, the O to Stranger Things does not end here. Uh, you saw in the beginning I have some lights going crazy all from my living room into my kitchen, uh, and those are 200 um, NeoPixel LEDs, um, the same type of string, uh, but four of them. Uh, and those are connected up to a Metro M0 Express, another board from Adafruit, and that's all coded with CircuitPython, but with a little bit of a twist. Uh, I also have five piezos uh, sensors that I've soldered together so that they act as one large kind of piezo net almost, and I have them under a rug. And when you walk on the rug or put any pressure on any of those sensors, then it will trigger the lights to go off. And the effect, as you saw, is this kind of blue, light blue kind of soft light that goes one by one all around the string. Um, and it's kind of a reference to the portion in the first season where uh, the little girl is walking down the hallway following the lights that are kind of lighting up one by ones until it leads her into uh, Will's room where the Demogorgon then like kind of pushes out through the wall. And that's kind of like a big turning point in the show because then Joyce knows she's not crazy. It's also really creepy. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of build something up to kind of reference that. So to kind of make things look polished, um, I actually didn't solder any proto board. I'm just connecting directly to the boards themselves. Uh, for the alphabet, I'm able to really make it look polished by the fact that I'm able to plug the trinket into the USB port on the back of my TV. Uh, so as long as the TV's on, then this is on, and then I can hide the trinket and the breadboard that I just have the, uh, the three wires from the lights plugged into behind there and no one sees it. So that's nice. And then for the larger installation on the wall, uh, again, I'm just plugging everything directly into the Metro board, which has headers similar to an Arduino. Uh, and I'm hiding the Metro inside an empty Ego box, uh, and I'm able to run the wires for power out one way and the lights out another, so it looks really clean as also another reference to the show. And then, of course, the wires from the piezo are under the rug. So it all looks really clean, despite the fact that I haven't really done any finishing for the project. Uh, and then the Metro, I'm just uh, powering off a USB cable plugged into a phone charger into the wall. And that's basically the project. Uh, I'm gonna have everything on Hackster.io and I'll have that right up linked down in the description. There you'll find the materials I use, the code, um, everything like that. So if you wanna make your own, you totally can. I'm really excited for season two of Stranger Things. Uh, hopefully there will be even more weird or strange things in there that we can riff on and make projects out of just like there were in season one. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you'd like to toss me a thumbs up, leave a question or comments down below, find me on social media, links are down in the description, and thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.